I think Asians have more monkey features than black people do. <laughs> Wait, time out. Why do you think that? Yeah, I do, bro. You ever, no, seen, like, don't. You ever seen like an old Asian? Look at an old Asian compared to an old black man. <laughs> Y'all nah. got y'all got monkey features, bro. Y'all got big noses. I mean, we fat all ass lips too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't ears. got big lips. Yes, y'all do. We got bro. the okay. The Asian people, we do got the ears. Yeah, but we don't got the big y'all lips look, and the flat noses. Like, y'all look more. Like we just got chim- flat face. Y'all, y'all look more like a chimpanzee than we do. No, we no no no. First of all, no. <laughs> yes, y'all do, bro. I don't. Okay, maybe not. No, there's no way. I think a black guy looks. Let me see. Say it. <laughs> yo 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 welcome back to another episode of no regs podcast episode number let's see 694 694 I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you read that redo that yeah, again yeah, 169 no i'll let you retry again i'll give you a third try third time's a charm you're way too high 160 still too high it's 157 159. 157. <laughs> 157. <laughs> Episode 157. I'm your host, DWAK. Yeah, 157? Was we just at? I guess I was here. I was here like three weeks ago. Exactly. I guess. I'm your host, DW. I got I my forget, co-host with me. You know, I don't come every two months now. <laughs> I know. Don't worry. There's a lot of new things coming, people. We Wait, got a lot so of new changes Don't coming. worry. You'll be back every two months. <laughs> Damn, bro. I got you might see Corey place. every week, bro. Who knows? You never know. But you got anything to say to the people, Corey, while you're here? Uh, hi. I don't know. I don't have nothing. You don't got nothing? You don't got no slogan? No slogan? You need a catchphrase. Prize. Oh, let me see. Gotcha, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha, sucker. <laughs> yeah, I get out of here. Welcome, welcome back to the podcast. If you're new to this channel, subscribe, comment, like the video, all that good stuff. Corey, we need 50 likes on this video. What's going to happen to these people? Um, I'm going to get their dog and take them to my job and put them in the room where they don't want to go. That sounds crazy. Mm-hmm. What kind of room? The room where they they don't walk out. Oh, they don't walk out. They don't walk out that room. Oh, like they walk out wobbling? No, nah, they don't walk out at all. Oh, they, they get carried out. Oh, okay. In I'm the, not even gonna. Let, I'm not even gonna let them elaborate on a, that. In a blue bag. Oh, it's a blue bag. It's a blue bag. for animals. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a blue bag for. The, we got blue bags. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna say because I thought like because humans they use black bags, right? Yeah. Okay. But, I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's not too. Either weird. way, you or your dog gonna be. Put in a black, black, hey, black, 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 black. It's yeah. only 50 likes, people. 50, 50 likes, likes could go a long way. 50k right. likes, bro. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Even, you know what? Give us one like. Shout out to y'all people. But like I said, shout out to our sponsor, SeatGeek. Use code NOREGULARS at checkout if you're new to SeatGeek to get $20 off any order over $50 or more. The MLB playoffs is coming up. Football season just started. The NBA starting in what? A month? October. Ish. October is like in the end of October. October twenty third. October twenty third. So use our code no regulars N O R G U L A R S for twenty percent twenty dollars off. Game day, opening night NBA. You should bet on Memphis Grizzlies two and a half. They're Damn, gonna, you got it ready already. They're going. They're going. They're going to smash that. Oh, against against Utah too. Yeah, they're going to smash that. Uh, New Orleans against Chicago negative six point six and a half. Mm-hmm. Yeah, t- smash that. Um, mm-hmm. New York, New York Knicks, uh, my a uh, plus uh, five and a half. Smash that, bro. We about to spank them niggas. Who uh, we play first? Boston. Um, okay, okay. Redemption. Or Minnesota versus uh, versus the Kings. They're plus right now, plus a hundred. Just smash Minnesota. Um, Atlanta versus Brooklyn Nets. They're gonna be the worst team in the league this year. Smash that Atlanta spread. Well, Brooklyn Nets gonna be uh. Yeah. Gonna oh be, yeah, they're, they're gonna, gonna be, be bad. Gonna Ooh, be bad. you know what that means though? Them tickets gonna be cheap. Mm-hmm, they're gonna be cheap. Yes, sir. You know where are we going? We out open to the Barclays Center. Open at night too. Uh, LeBron plays against Anthony Edwards. You might want to smash at the Anthony Edwards. Anthony, you want to smash Anthony Edwards? Yeah, like it was his uh his his overs. Damn, so you be ready? Oh yeah, I look at the shit every day, bro. Hey man, it's going. The big one's going to hit, bro. Yep, not I today believe. though. Not to, hey, bro, to tomorrow it. it's going to be tomorrow. What you been on tomorrow? college football? I bet on Saturdays, not uh. Not any other days? No. Okay. I mean, the other ones is kind of booty anyways. But yeah, speaking of that, shout out to our, other, uh, shout out to our sponsor. It was Prize Picks. Use code no regulars at checkout if you are new to Prize Picks. If you put $5 in, you automatically get $50 back, people. Win, lose, or draw, you get your monies back in store credit. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? You put $5 in. As soon as you put it in, you automatically get 50 to enter more Entries and picks with prize picks. So shout out to prize picks. Use code no regulars. N O R G U L A R S. So Corey, 
I just want, you know, a little recap before we start the podcast. How you feeling? Everything good, man? I'm feeling good. Yeah, everything good, you know. How's your week Less going? Less than highly favored. Hey, respect. 2K respect. drop. You already know how it's ah. going, bro. We're grinding. 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 Dun, dun, dun. I don't know the I words. I don't know the words. You know the words? Go ahead. Grinding. You grinding. You know what I keep in the line. Anyway. I think, I, isn't that on the, the John track? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. They brought that back. Like, they added like every year now, bro. What? <laughs> Really? That, song, yeah, that, on, that joke it, came out like what? Twenty two K twenty? Two K nah. It was on it was on two K eleven. No, it was two K. Yeah, it was on two K eleven, fourteen, and it was on last year's too. You're a fiend. How do you remember all that? I um, mean, I might be wrong about fourteen, but I know for sure. No, I might be wrong about eleven too. I know it was on fourteen and or sixteen. I actually don't know. It was on like it was on like five two Ks. Okay, okay, okay. But you know it's been on frequently. It's been on like five. Okay. Cause it was like, it was this year, last year. They had it like they added it last year. I feel like it was on two K twenty two maybe. I feel like it was on two K twenty. Cause I remember I I just remember hearing it a lot. And I, the one I the one two K I played a lot was two K twenty. So that's the only reason why I think it's a it's been on that one. It might have been. I know it's been like on like three in the last three four ten years. Yeah, bro. Years, four, four years. But you know. We back on that 2K grind, people. You know what I'm saying? Yo. We be grinding. 2K content is coming out. You don't know about that, people. We got a lot of new things coming this year. But, yeah, so we got to get our My Players ready before we start doing that. Actually, we might do it beforehand because I think that's kind of funny. You're My Players, the only one's not ready. <laughs> what you mean? Bro, all I need, I just put my three-point up and just get my hot zones. We good to go. Damn, hot zones. I don't got no hot zones. Exactly, but I start grinding, bro. I am grinding, bro. I, we grinding tonight after this? Yeah. Absolutely. Pause. That was crazy work. I don't see the pause in it. Interesting, but yeah. So you did anything interesting happen to you this week, man? Any nothing this week? Damn, what happened to me this week? Oh, I got a funny video, bro. What video because you got? It's mad funny, bro. I was uh at my neighbor's house, right? <laughs> I was at my neighbor's house. Yeah. And I was like, feel me, just like we just vibing. And he was charging a battery, bro. And what battery? Like a like a like a little car toy battery. Yeah, like a, a lipo battery. Uh huh. And the shit exploded, bro. Really? And I thought I was about to die, bro. It like, hit you in the leg? No, it, I I just seen I just heard the noise and I just ran and and ducked. <laughs> really? I, I got it, I, and he, I, was I, it a big battery? I got it. No, nah, it wasn't even that big. But I got it on the. I got his door. His door damn camera. Door dash. His the door, door cam. cam. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I get you. I, I got, got you. the camera. Let me and, see, uh, bro. I you ran the, away like you had the video. I actually, dolphin dies, but like the. Video, <laughs> nah, you the, didn't die because the, the video. The video. Uh, don't got the dolphin dies. Oh, I was about to say. <laughs> hey, bro! As long as you're ready, bro. You gotta be always ready, always tactical. Corey looked like he twerking, by the way. I right, look, he was. Oh, look, he vibing with no, somebody other than Bishop. Your neighbor butt crack out. Type shit. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, why you dip? Oh my gosh. Nah, that's OD. <laughs> I literally, I watched so many movies, bro. I ran, and once I got out of camera view, I'm like, yo, it's an explosion. I gotta dive. Because that's what <laughs> niggas do. Niggas be diving. No, that was a big explosion. Send me that. I'm going to put that on the video. So uh, for my uh, video listeners, we can, you guys can watch it too. That was OD. I'm thinking like it's a little thing. Nah, bro. The niggas almost killed that looked like a That looked like a, um, a firework, bro. I thought it was a firework. I'm like, yo, what the fuck going on? Oh nah, bro. I thought I thought it was over, bro. <laughs> you even turn around, cut you around. <laughs> that was the fast I see you move, cause I ain't gonna lie in a minute. That's funny as hell, bro. Hey man, do I look darker to you, bro? Cause I told you I came I came nah, back to Mexico. Nah, but she do. She look wait. Nah, she be tanning. That's why. Yeah. Yeah. You don't look darker. I don't. Jay Black. She black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if y'all don't know me and Jay, and my family went to Mexico, bro. We just came back. Uh, what was that? Saturday, you was in something. You, where you was at? You was in yeah, co- Roy Ocampoon, Playa del Carmen. Oh yeah, that means. That and then there was the other thing, bro. I ain't gonna lie, our resort was like it was it was nice, but it, it was like huge, but it was like a um, it was in the jungle. I mean, we like the jungle, bro. Yeah, but it's like think about like you know if you go to a resort, like you can still see everything. You could just walk to everything. You can't walk to everything because like the mm-hmm. trees are too high. Like you're literally in the jungle. Like there's um so so you uh so when you get there, there's golf carts and you just hop on the golf cart and you go right around. But then sometimes you can walk and they got like little mm-hmm. trails like go, that goes through the trees. Mm-hmm. So one time me and Jay was walking at nighttime 
And I don't know what animal it was, bro. A kulamuni. No, no, it wasn't that. Oh. It was like, it looked like a freaking, like a, I don't even know what it was. I've never seen that animal before in my life. That jungle looked what dirty. Look like? Jay, you got a picture of it? What? Of that, um, that little thing that we seen that night? I'm going to show Corey. Because that, ju- yo, when I tell you, we seen, I'm like, hold on. I thought it was like a, like, it looked like a porcupine with no prickles. Mm. But like it had like little raggedy hair. I don't think if you know what that what type of animal is, you nice. I ain't gonna lie. I might not know. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But nah, them little cutting moon day things, they be walking around everywhere. They be stealing people. Yeah, food. Mexican raccoons. I love them niggas, you bro. Know, I was vibing with them when I went to I went to Mexico, yeah. Went, oh, you was vibing with them? It was this thing. Is that a porcupine? Like a porcupine without no spikes? That is a porcupine. No, that's not a porcupine. That's a um What's that shit called with the fat nose? Hold on, I know what that is. You know what that is? Oh, what's the name of this shit, bro? It's not a porcupine. What is this, bro? It's like one, but people, it got put- a fat nose instead. What is this? People, I'm putting a picture up right here, so if y'all don't see it, sorry for all my audio, all our audio listeners, but we don't know what the heck this thing is. Me and Jay looked at it. We were shook for like a good couple uh, seconds. What I know it. It's like on the tip of my tongue. As he says that, he licks his lips. <laughs> Tries to see if he gets it. That's crazy, bro. I don't know what it is, bro. I've never it's seen that. It's not a porcupine, but it's like... Is it a porky in the porcupine family? Nah. I mean, yeah, because it has quills, but like, nah. Low-key, it might just be a porcupine. Animals in Mexico. I don't think we're ever going to find it, but we'll probably... I was about to say an ocelot? No. I was, they had spider monkeys on the thing, but I didn't see no spider monkeys. Was it a, is it a co, a coati? No. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out, people. And we'll let you know about that. Oh, wait, is it this thing? No, that's a Jaguar. Where's the phone now? You got it? No, it's right there. Oh. Oh, shoot. But yeah, people, we got a lot of stuff. Here, Jay. Oh, Oh, my bad. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got a lot of crazy things to talk about. But first... We got some current events, Corey. So you know what's going on in the world lately, bro? Um, the election. Nah, I mean, I'm not the, the debate. I'm not uh, watching that. I'm not gonna lie. I watched it. It was just, it was hilarious. But what are they talking about? They're really not talking about nothing. nothing. They was just, they were just throwing jabs at each other. All I heard was Trump talking about some. They eat the cats and the dogs. They eat the dogs. They eat their animals. <laughs> Who is he talking about? Uh, the immigrants. Oh dang! He talking about Chinese people. Nah, you're talking about immigrants, immigrants in, general. in general. Dang, that's crazy. Like they're all in Ohio. They're eating the dog. They're eating the animals. They're eating the cats. Hey, Amen. But do you know California's sinking? It's been sinking for like 15 years. But like, did you see like? Nah, the- but like, I know it's been sinking. Like, it's like the shit is like on a, on a what's that? Like, it's a flat or some shit like that. The the fault. A fault. There we yeah. go. Yeah, it's on the, the San fault. Andreas fault. Yeah. You know, there, there's like, but the the. The roads is actually cracking now. Yeah, because it is. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, in the next 50, 60, maybe 100 years, there's not going to be no more California. Yeah. Nah, yeah. 150. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually facts. I ain't going to lie. But, like, they're saying, like, like they're, there's, like, a state of emergency right now because of how bad it's going to be. I believe but, it. But you know what's weird, though? It was a guy on TikTok that was saying on... um. I think it was like early August or like four, no, four months ago, four months ago. He was saying, he went up to the cops. He, he went up to the cops. He's like, yo, I just had a vision from God telling me that a typhoon going to come hit, uh, uh, what's it called? A tsunami is going to come hit uh, California. We're all going to be underwater. They all just look at him like, you know, it happens. Like we have earthquakes. He's like, nah, like there's going to be a giant earthquake. That the thing's going to split open. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, everybody looking at him crazy. But now. The, you see, like, there's big cracks in the middle of the roads, and there's cracks in, like, the freaking, uh, like, the courts and stuff like yeah, that. San Andreas about to come true, bro. You now, imagine. Nah, man. What, what you, nah, I ain't gonna lie. What if that really happens for real? I live in Jersey. But that still could affect us, though. You know that, right? <laughs> I don't know how, but that could still affect it's, us some way. Uh, it might affect me in the, the other places, but I'm good, bro. I ain't I gonna. What? I ain't gonna die, bro. I know that. Like, uh, bro. I don't know nobody that live in L.A. Really? You don't got no you don't know nobody in the West Coast? Nah. I'm cool, bro. That'd be freaking I ain't gonna lie. Damn, that. Oh, wait, where, where's San Diego at? That's in the West Coast, you dummy. My cousin Omar do live in San Diego. <laughs> Omar Cook. Damn. Oh. For, for you, Omar. That's why I mean, at the end of the day. Come like, back to Jersey before this shit happen, bro. Like, I don't think anything bad would happen. I mean, no, no. Honestly, like it's gonna 
people gonna die and there's gonna be like mad stuff. Does that happening. say credit card steak meat? Where are you reading that? Date. Uh, credit date. card statement do. Nigga, oh, why are you state. reading that shit? My bad. I just seen state meat. I'm like, hey, yo, what you got the meat up here for? No, bro? statement date. Oh, all right, my that's bad. like for my when I gotta pay my credit card. Oh, you good? <laughs> I just seen the meat. I'm like, whoa. This is crazy. <laughs> you got meat up there. Nah, but there was freaking, um, there was also some, you ever heard of uh, who Baba Vanga is? That's like some old blind woman that died, I think in like the eighties, but she like predicts the future. Oh, you got, I'm going to say she's like Helen Keller. No, she's not like Helen Keller. Helen Keller was freaking. Blind and deaf. You said blind, blind and deaf, right? No, she was blind, but she predicted the future. Oh. And like, she, they said she's like 80% accurate. I, like she predicted all the AIs to come out this year. That was easy. But she watched Terminator. No, oh, how, how she watched Terminator? <laughs> she got no eyes. How she she freaking. Terminator. She said in 2025, that's when like the apocalypse is gonna like start to begin. They but, say that shit every year. But bro. she said th- this is what she said though. She said that it was gonna start with Europe, like a conflict in Europe mm-hmm. that's gonna destroy the continent. And I don't know. You see what is happening with freaking uh, Russia and U- Ukraine and. Uh, Palestine and was it Israel or whatever? Mm-hmm. Hey, why don't they just start nuking each other, bro? Shit, as long as they don't nuke over here, bro, we chilling, bro. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, bro. They've been doing some weird stuff over here, bro. They've been doing. I told you about they. They came up. They found a freaking double agent, a Chinese uh, double agent. Literally, I think she worked with the the pre, the governor or somebody somebody higher up in New York, and they caught her because they caught her calling somebody and she was speaking like broken English, uh-huh. like in code words. And they're like, "Yo, you good? Like, what's like what's wrong with you?" And they freaking arrested her and then they found out she was actually working for China as like a spy like she was spying on us so oh, just man. imagine there's more of them around just like they're like dang why Ling Ling got caught pu- bro why she ain't why she do that in public she dumb bro she should just wait what do you mean do it in public Link, why she do that around niggas bro like what you talking about why she speaking in cold around niggas like go. no she they 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 um uh, they uh tracked her phone like, oh the, it's yeah. not like she was <laughs> yeah, it's not like she was like next to you, like where we are right now. She's yeah. speaking like no, no she was literally. What the fuck you doing? She was literally in the crib. I guess they tapped her phone because they thought why she was suspicious. She use, why would she use her regular phone, bro? She, she I don't know. They the probably burner. she probably thought she was nice. She ain't. She nice, got bro. cooked. Use the burner, bro. And she got cooked. But imagine, just think about how many more Chinese people is freaking spies, cuz. That's, that's why I don't like y'all. That's why you don't like us. Yeah. Oh, because you think we're spies? Nah, I just don't like how y'all look. Why would you like how we? Why would you like how Asian people look? Nah, that look weird, bro. Wait, no, no, no. I want to know why. You know what I think? I think I think Asians have more monkey features than black people. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, talk about why you think that? Yeah, I do, bro. You ever no, seen like don't. you ever seen like an old Asian? Look at an old Asian compared to an old black man. Bro. <laughs> Y'all, nah. got, y'all got monkey features, bro. Y'all got big noses. I mean, we fat all ass lips too, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, we Wide don't ears. got big lips. Yes, y'all do. We got bro. the okay. The Asian people, we do got the ears. Yeah, but we don't got the big y'all lips look, and the flat noses. Like, y'all look more. Like we just got ch- flat face. Y'all, y'all look more like a chimpanzee than we do. No, we no no no. First of all, no. <laughs> yes, y'all do, bro. I don't. Okay, maybe not. No, there's no way. I think a black guy looks. Let me see. Say it. <laughs> you think of what? <laughs> An old Asian guy. Okay, he do. I'm look, I'm, I'm picturing it in my mind. He do look like a monkey. Look like old, a little spider monkey. Old Asian man. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a little spider monkey. I already know where you're coming from. But we all do come from monkeys. Yeah, but he just Asians just got more mo- go more monkey in them. But I'm not gonna lie. Bro. You know what I'm thinking? Look about? at him. He look like a bobono, bro. <laughs> 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 Yo, wait, send me tell that me, picture, tell bro. Tell me on like a monkey, bro. No, wait, show the camera. Show the camera, though. Yo. He actually looked like a monkey. <laughs> you don't like a monkey, bro? <laughs> they, say, they say black people look like monkeys. <laughs> nah, this nigga's a monkey, bro. Nah, you crazy, Yo, bro. You think about Randy Walker, bro. <laughs> you don't like a monkey, bro? I mean, I guess. But like okay, so d- so we do come, we descend from apes. So you think more some races have more ape than other others? Yeah, I think Asians have more <laughs> have more ape than us. Yeah, bro. but okay, we don't got the muscle mass, or the the actually we got the height though. Monkey's not that big. Nigga, <laughs> this is a monkey, bro. Let me see. <laughs> this is a monkey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's a monkey, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. We look more like the Neanderthals. <laughs> We look more like the the cavemen. Nah, you're trying to make it better for you, bro. It is, bro. We look more like the cavemen. Nigga, this is a monkey with a beard, bro. (laughs) 
Stop playing, bro. That is a monkey, bro. <laughs> That's an orangutan, bro. <laughs> No, he looks like an orangutan. Why do they look like monkeys? I never thought of that. Nah, you weird. Well, you just looked at an Asian guy. I was like, an Asian guy one day. I'm like, yo, this is like a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, wait, y'all look like monkeys, low key. Y'all look like monkeys yo, more than us, bro. Low key. Isn't that where most of the monkeys are in Asia? I, I know a lot of monkeys in Asia, yeah. Because there's no like, there's no gorillas in Africa. There's no gorillas in Africa, right? I don't think so. There's no gorillas in Africa. Is there chimps? Be. There's, there's, there's there, definitely chimps in Africa. There's, there's no chimps in Africa. Oh, wait, there is chimps in Africa. There's chimps the in Africa. The Congo chimps. The Congo chimps. The Congo chimps. But nah, because you know, and like in the Philippines, they got monkeys run, uh, that run around the streets like uh, squirrels. Uh, yeah, I believe y'all, bro. Yeah, you're fucking descendants. Dang. That's tough. Got a gorilla for sale. Got a gorilla for sale. Oh, nah, there there are gorillas in Rwanda, Uganda. Oh, so they're in Africa. And in Congo. Damn, Congo got all the, the monkeys. Bro, the Congo is untouched. You know that, right? You know, yo, you know how much, yo, you know what I was watching the other day, bro? What's that? What you was watching? Remember, um, that show you River. Gotta go for some, oh, what happened? You remember that show River Monsters? Mm-hmm. Yo, I was watching clips of it like uh today, bro. He was really catching some big mm-hmm. fish, bro. Barehanded, bro. Barehanded with a pole. Because I'm not gonna lie, imagine he went to the Congo with that. What he would have caught? Because he went to like what the Amazon or something like that. Amazon, he was yeah. in the Amazon. He was, he was in Africa. He was in the Nile River. Yeah, he's brave for that because a crocodile. Would come out I know, second. bro. Bro, he caught like he was catching like the big catfishes or whatever. It's called like a, uh, I think called like a goonch. <laughs> he caught <laughs> yeah, it a goonch. And then the alligator guard. You ever you know what an alligator guard is? No. It's like a think of a fish like. A, I know you're talking about. Like it's like a sturgeon mixed with and like the, a. And they got the long. Yeah, long like teeth. a like a like a uh, crocodile, bro. Mm-hmm. And he was just catching. I'm like, bro. And he said he be reeling them in, taking like two, three hours, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm like, nah. Like, I really got this one right here. And you know, he he stopped the show because he re- I think he caught everything he that did. he ever wanted. He caught like, he everything, did. yeah. He caught like the that big stingray mm-hmm. in the river. I didn't even know they had stingrays in rivers, bro. Did he caught everything? He was like, yeah, I caught everything. I'm, I'm chilling now. So like, imagine they got them big things in the rivers. Imagine the in the. Nah, he's I'm, he's actually OD. Bro. That's what I'm saying. It's only rivers. He's not going in like deep sea fishing. He probably would have caught a shark though, low key. If he would have been deep sea I mean, fishing, he would have died. died though. He, he, you know, th- he caught a bull shark before. He would have died, bro. He, he 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 got out while he could, bro. He would have died. What you trying to say? He nice. He is nice. He's bro. honestly like, Steve gonna, Irwin. You, the if you embodiment keep playing, Steve Irwin. You keep playing with yeah. You see Steve, Steve Irwin and get That's up out of there. That's an accident. Yeah, you keep playing with nature. Nature's gonna get your ass, bro. He's not playing with nature. He just you is playing with nature, bro. How he's bring he's putting him back. Cause, nah, but you playing with nature, bro. Cause you you you're in habitats you're not supposed to be in, bro. What do you mean you're not supposed to be in? Like, you can't... Like you said, you in the Nile River. You think after a while, something will get you Okay, ass. yes, of course. You but, like, you he's with cautious it. with it. He's not. He's dumb, bro. Because he get in the water, he just get he just got lucky. That was not the Nile River he was in. Like, I he know, got in the water. but I'm just saying, like, he going, like you're going to slip up eventually. He got up out of there while he could, bro. So you think if you would have kept going, you would have died? Yeah, bro, you're going to die eventually, bro. Like, he might be he might be alive right now still, but something he's going to get got eventually, bro. Nah, I think he's too nice, bro. Nah. Steve Irwin, that was just ain't a freak nobody, accident. Ain't nobody that nice. I think that, like, Steve, because Na- Nature, can get, it take one second for nature to get you, bro. True, true, true. One one mistake. That is true. R.P. Steve Irwin, bro. I was Damn, so I wasn't even talking about Cobb, bro. He didn't make no. a mistake. That's he didn't make, no, I didn't. That Stingray I, was a hater, bro. No, he was. I didn't mean, I didn't even hear you say mistake. I just heard you say you get, like, one second. Yeah, no. How did that happen anyways? Did he just, like, flail his thing? He swam over it. And you know that Stingray's got that barb. Yeah. That... And it, it really just hit him perfectly in the heart. Wow. Oh man, that was so. It was sad, crazy. Bro. He wasn't even he wasn't even catching stingrays, bro. He, he just, was just watching he it. Was, no, he was catching crocodiles that day and was like, "Yo, look at this stingray. This is mad cool, right?" Mm-hmm. Swam over it and he said, "Got right in his heart." Dang, and I, bro. When I went to Tulum. I was swimming and I was like swimming. I was like, "Wait, what'd you what'd you swim with?" In swim. Tulum. I had a life jacket on. No, I mean like what? Okay, I know you had a life jacket on. I mean like, what were you swimming? Oh, why like, you laugh? I know you had a light. Like, what were you swimming? Like, like, what were you looking for? Like, you no, went... I was just swimming. I was in the, I was in the beach. Oh, like, was that like a, was it for snorkeling? No, nah, it was the beach right by the, by our villa. We walked to the beach. So you had a life jacket on. <laughs> yeah, I can't swim. I was in the parts where I can't stand, bro. You don't know how to swim, bro. No, I can't swim, bro. You, you knew a this. grown ass man. You knew this already, bro. How many of y'all gonna I not went, know how to swim, bro? I went to summer camp for uh, for four years. I was a guppy for all four years, bro. I'm thinking because when I was in, because we went to Tulum and we did swimming with the turtles. 
No, nah, I didn't do that, bro. I seen a sea turtle. I touched it. That's cool. I wasn't getting that close. You, what you mean? Because you you had to get on the boat, right? Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, no, you're not going in the middle of the ocean. You're literally just like you like yeah, you can nah, see I'm the cool. shore. I'm cool. You're literally like a hundred feet out. Yeah, I can't and I can't get back there if I needed to. You a grown I'm ass cool, man. Bro. I'm cool. You know, you my mom, was, my mom was, and dad are just like you. You know what happened? Was, what happened? They, they, my dad, my dad jumped in. And he went to the bottom. He got nervous. And like when you get scared, like you want to get out, you go like this. And he did. Oh, you go like this. And he did this immediately. Uh-huh. And the guy looked at him like, "You good?" And they threw him a, <laughs> they threw him the little life, the little life, the life ring. Mm-hmm. And the guy jumped in. And like my mom and dad would hold on it, and the guy was tugging him. I felt so bad, the whole way, bro. Yeah. See, that's why you don't play those. I don't, I'm not gonna be that nigga, bro. You really, if you have a life vest on, you're not gonna drown. Yeah, I didn't go far though. Oh, but like. Nah, I'm not going. I don't think. Crazy. I don't think I went past where I couldn't stand. Like I got like maybe this deep. So, so with the life vest. Yeah. So they they offer life vests at that resort. No, nah, I brought them home. Wow, that's crazy work, Corey. What you mean? Like everybody's swimming. You think I'm not going to swim with them? Nah, I'm you. Put this, you let, me put... this, let me get this life vest. <laughs> First of all, I'm already fat, so I'm not showing off no stomach. I'm not showing off no ass. You brought a, your own life vest. That's crazy work. I'm not gonna lie. That's what kids do. I no, you know, you know why? Cause kids not buying their own shit. I brought my own shit. The <laughs> fuck is they talking about? I'm thinking the hotel had one. You you put that in the carry on? Nah, I went, I went and brought one. When I was oh, there. you bought it when you was there? Yeah, where the life vest at? Let me get that shit. <laughs> oh no, nah. how much that shit? Fifty five pesos. Cool. Let me get that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna teach you how to swim, bro. Nah, it's too late, bro. Like, okay, what is it about the swimming that you can't water? Do? What do you mean water? Uh, what can I? I can't float. Oh, you can't float. Okay, that's fine because I can't float either. All right. But I can like I can you still paddle. I don't, I don't want to learn how to swim because that's gonna make me that's gonna put me in situations where I'm gonna die. So I'm gonna just I'm gonna just <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm gonna just not know how to swim and not and not put myself in a situation. Have you ever almost Have you ever almost like drowned before? No. Really? I don't. I don't go in the water, bro. I don't. I didn't almost drown, but like I almost drowned in the bathtub. <laughs> really? No. Oh, I was about to say, I almost like I was at the beach one time with uh, Ish and Jordan. And like you know when you on the beach like you just jump like to like go to the top and then you like touch the floor mm-hmm. you just keep jumping so I jumped down and I I guess I hit like a ditch and I kept going I went under see? and I didn't take my breath I didn't get a breath so I had to swim up I was like and I couldn't see and I got hit with a wave and I was mm-hmm. getting cooked and I was like I was like struggling and Ishan Jordan looked at me he's like you good I was like nah bro I almost got cooked over here see? bro man niggas play too much bro but that wasn't even like I can't swim I just got I just messed up cook. but if I didn't know how to swim I would've never got nah, out of that this situation would tra- this would traumatize me from, well guess what I don't know how to swim I won't be in that information but <laughs> what you call it my cousin I went to the beach one time and my cousin I was like maybe like 9, 10, 11, 12 yeah. around that my cousin jumped like he seen a wave and jumped into the wave yeah and then disappeared when we seen a nigga, but he was like 40 meters out. I'm like, yo, that nigga deep. He's right there, bro. <laughs> I'm like, yo, look that nigga over there, bro. I'm like, nah. I mean. You telling me that wave that was just right here, push that nigga all the way down there? I'm cool, bro. I mean, yeah, he probably got caught in a riptide. I but. would never get, cool, I would never get in that again, bro. Thank you. <laughs> never again? Never again. Hey, I mean, we got him, but like. I mean, I was he him. was he was he struggling? Like, nah, he, I mean, he could swim. But like, oh, okay. I mean, I can't swim. If I would that would happen, if I would have jumped into the wave, where people like yo jump in the wave with me, bro? If I would jump, I would have died. <laughs> hey, man. You know, you know what the first thing they teach you when you go like well for me when swim class. Do you remember what they taught you? Mm. Well, they 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 put you in the deep the end. Doggy paddle. No. So mm. when I was four, that's when I first learned how to swim. They bring they bring to the deep end, twenty feet, and he was like jump. They didn't teach me that in summer camp. But you know, do you know why though? Cause it makes you survive. No, like yeah, like you teach you not to panic, because I it's panic. not gonna hurt you. Well, so that's literally the that's half the battle. If you panic, you're going. It's over, bro. It's over already. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> jumping. It's over, bro. It's too late. I'm too you late. won't jump in. I'm too old, bro. It's too late, bro. We going. We gonna go to a pool. No, we not. No regular swimming test. We not coming going. soon. We're not going anywhere. Yes, bro. sir. We gonna teach no regulars how to swim. I'm going to be the swimming instructor. I ain't doing shit with y'all if it, if it involves water. <laughs> unless, unless we get in the shower together. This guy's a freak, bro. <laughs> Yo, you, you you good, bro? My bad, bro. That's okay. That's okay. That I want to do a podcast one day where we act gay and the first one to cave loses.
Yeah, now yeah, look, look, now see, what the, what's wrong with this nigga, bro? <laughs> Crap ideas, Diddy. This nigga got the Diddy ideas, bro. I said one gay joke. Now they can turn it to Diddy. Yo, bro. he said one gay. Yo, you were saying all day. I nah, I just became. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Uh, oh, oh. So I got a. I actually got a game we can play. Mm, I, don't know I'm playing, I don't know if I'm playing the games with you after that statement. That statement. <laughs> <laughs> that statement. <laughs> What's the game? All right, so it's guess guess which animal you can survive the longest against. Mm-hmm. All right, so I got two animals, and you got to tell me which one you, you... Not like you personally, but like the consensus. Okay. Like according to data. All right. All right? So the first one, which one you can survive the longest against? An elephant versus a hyena. Which one you think has the longest uh, time a hyena. of... You can, you can survive more with a hyena. You can survive more with a hyena? Mm-hmm. Wow, correct. Uh, elephant's mercury, bro. An elephant is 20 minutes versus 35 minutes for a hyena. Because they're not going to kill you. They're just going to eat you. Wow. Wait, elephant, what? Like, this is gonna, like, they're going to like tease you type shit. Oh, they're, they're not going to play around yeah, with you? Yeah, they're not going to kill you. They're not, they're not going to bite you in your throat and kill you like a tiger would. Okay, look at Elephant's going to like stomp you. Okay, okay. You. Just, like, yeah. Penetration? It might penetrate you with his horn. Okay. His tusk. Okay, okay. I didn't say that, though, but you're good. Oh, I thought you said penetration. I didn't my say fault. that. I didn't say my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault, my fault. All right, next one is a bull shark versus a pack of wolves. Let's see. Pack of wolves. A pack of wolves? Wow. So a bull shark is 11 minutes yeah, versus is. 12 minutes for a pack of wolves. Yeah, bull sharks are nasty, bro. Really? So you would think a bull shark, even a pack of eight? Nah, because the wolves not going to really... First of all, a wolf, wolves is not gonna again another species that's not gonna kill you. Mm. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna like, like essentially, pepper you they're gonna essentially eat you alive. Mm. But even then, they still don't. They're not gonna feel me. They're not gonna really do much. Yeah, I get you. I, I get mean, you. like if if they're on your ass, it's up for you. But like mm-hmm. feel me, they're gonna let they're gonna let the the young eat first, and then like they're not gonna kill you right away. Mm. They're just gonna start eating you. Dang, you must be really you really crocodile Dundee, bro. You really got the the animal knowledge. I'm so, I'm impressed. All I'm right, get, I'm gonna get the next one tomorrow. Let's see. Dang, you might jinx yourself. Kangaroo versus 150 leeches. Which one you can you you can survive the longest against? 150 leeches. Yep. Say they're all attached to you. Dang, that's that that might cook me because I'm gonna still say 150 leeches, even though it, it it's the kangaroo. But I'm gonna say 150 leeches. It is the kangaroo. The kangaroo mm-hmm. is 50 minutes. And the leech, 150 leeches will take 40 minutes. Mm, I knew it. Dang, why don't you just say kangaroo? It was the easy answer. I knew, I knew it though. What? I mean, cause like I knew that king, cause I knew it was the the, the like the leeches suck your blood, so like you you just draining your blood. Mm. But like I just like. But you like 150? Aren't leeches kind of big? Yeah, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be the leeches, but like you know. Okay. I just wanted to be creative. <laughs> okay, okay. It seemed too easy. Okay. And the last one is a cobra versus an ostrich. The ostrich, the cobra is gonna bite you. His venom is gonna kill you. It's, so it's the, the ostrich is in it. It's the ostrich is in it. Wait, so you're saying the ostrich? You're gonna is the live longest. longer with the ostrich, but I'm probably wrong. Yep, it's a cobra is one hour versus an ostrich is twelve minutes. Ostrich killing you in twelve minutes? Mm-hmm. That joint is faster than a freaking elephant. Yeah, but like, I mean, I guess you could ride an ostrich though. Can you really ride an ostrich? I don't know. I just seen it in a movie. Wait, which movie? <laughs> uh, with Adam Sandler. No, there we go. Yeah, uh, blended. Blended. Yo, uh, I love that movie, bro. Yeah. We are blended. I seen it in a movie, so I think you could ride an ostrich. You probably can't, but like, I just feel like that that skinny ass neck is not killing me in twelve minutes, bro. I mean, if it peck you in the face. No. Oh, God, I, I don't think it's skinny. I think you got like it's like this oh, big. I, he might kick you. He might. He might. He will. He will kick me. I'm saying your back broke, bro. And you cook. Ostrich not breaking my back. You crazy? No, I think he's. I think he's killing you. Twelve minutes. Damn, ostrich knocking niggas out. Twelve minutes. They nice, bro. I'm telling you. And what was the other one? Uh, cobra. A cobra killing you in an hour? Yeah, that venom. I don't think the ven- the venom is still strong, but like I think they said they're thinking like you can get to help within an hour. That's true though. If you yeah. can, you can survive an hour. Yeah. So. But you got anything? You got any questions? Because we're going into the uh, hypothetical part of the podcast, people. No, let's, 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 let's get into it. 
Let's get it. Bro. You want to keep going? Yeah. All right. So, I have... Actually, I got a would you rather question before we start it off. What, or what do you think is worse? Or you, what do you think is more worse to do? Having to fight more a blind person? Oh, yeah. That's a terrible way of saying it. Yeah, like, what do you think... I don't know how to. I don't know how to word what's it. What's the most? What's what's more fucked up? Yeah. What's more? What's more messed up? Having to fight a blind. Having to fight a blind person, or having to fight <laughs> somebody with no legs. <laughs> what? Because you did. I said what's more fucked up. You yeah, said I'm trying not to up. curse, bro. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> so what's more messed up? Having to fight a blind person, or having to fight a person with no legs? I think fighting the blind person. You can't see me, bro. It's off stink. I'm fighting stink meter, bro. Nah, I think I think it's more it's messed gra- up a person with no legs. Nah, it's granddad versus stink meter, bro. So you said stink. Wait, what's that? I think I never watched the Boondocks. Never mind. Cook him, cook him, chat, cook him, cook him, chat, <laughs> cook him, cook him. <laughs> he don't know who's stink meter. What you say, nigga? <laughs> I still think somebody. I feel like it's more messed up with somebody with no legs. Nah, it's blind. Cause bro. think about it. If you knock him on the ground, he just. He, first of all, he already on the ground. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking you just like think you're he already, a, you're already close to the floor. So if you knock him to the ground, it's not making much of a difference. What if he's in a wheelchair? Kick yeah. his wheelchair over. Now he's cooked. Yeah, what if he's nice with it though? I just feel like, right? It's more actually it might be more messed up with the blind. No, no. I, think, I think about it. Every every punch you throw to the blind person is a sneak attack. <laughs> you snuck him every time, bro. At least the nigga with the wheelchair could see it coming. Mmm, that is true. Dang, but he's just like you know when <laughs> every you, you know see when they fall, they just nigga, be bro. flailing, bro. Yeah, but like that just look weird. Like that just they gonna look weird too. I, I I bet you you punch a blind person and he don't know where it's coming from. He gonna give you the same <laughs> reaction. <sighs> Whoa. <laughs> Show me Mr. Crab meme, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, nah, not the Mr. Crab meme. What bro. I'm getting hit from, bro? <laughs> Can't see it. So you pick the blind person? Nah, I'm beating up the nigga with no legs. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now I got another. That's all fighting Daredevil. Yeah, that's true. Imagine you just start cooking you. Right. I don't know. Nah. The location. <laughs> oh, the ec- okay. No, hold on. I got. I got a scenario in my mind. I forgot what to say. Hold on. Go. They hear what I'm at. Uh, nah, that's not that's not echolocation, bro. Yes, that is. They do that in the water. Oh, then, oh, that's that's sonar, actually. Oh, uh, you might be right. Well, yeah, man, come on, bro. Get, get right, get right. Oh, echo's like. Yeah. Right. Yeah, what the bats do. All right, say like. I was trying to think like if a blind person disrespect you, they just start talking crazy. You still beat them up, try to fight them. Nah, nigga, tell me what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> There's just too much jokes I could make before I gotta fight you. Like, okay, imagine, right? I mean, if any, if, I was thinking, like, imagine a blind person spit on you, you find them. No, I'm gonna just spit on him back and four and run away. And four, no, I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna spit on him four times. You're not gonna know where it's coming from. <laughs> you gonna run around him? Two, hot two, nigga. Hey, <laughs> just keep yo, spitting bro. on that nigga, bro. That's crazy. Work, not bro. gonna know where it's coming from, bro. First uh, of all, if he spit on me and actually hit me. I failed, bro. Cause how know, the how the nigga know where I was at, bro? He lying, bro. <laughs> so I'm saying, Stevie you think there's Wonder. any? You think there's any like blind people that's like faking it? See, we wonder, bro. Oh yeah. no, I think he's faking it. That still. nigga can see, bro. Uh, he did, yo, what was that video where he like they called his called his name? And he looked or something. Yeah, niggas looked that way. Or niggas start clapping or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nah, but like other than Stevie Wonder, like anybody else, Helen Keller, bro. She can see, bro. Did she like fly a plane? Yeah, bro. She can see, bro. You think, nah, because imagine you can fake blind. Now nah, you can't fake that, John, because you need like a freaking a doctor's note to say you're blind to get disability for it. Ray Ch- Ooh, I forgot yeah, Ray Charles tight. blind. Nah, Ray yeah. Charles is definitely blind still, though. Nah, he might be blind, but he could play that piano, though. Ray Charles over Stevie Wonder? Yeah, easy. Mm, okay, okay. But you got anything you want to talk about? You got any questions? All right, so I got a question, right? Blind rake these, I'm going to give you five athletes. Blind rank these five athletes to who you think you could be in a fight. Okay. All right. Go ahead. All right. Number one. Well, yeah. Number one, Miles Garrett. So five is I can't beat him. Five is you can't beat him. Number one, you could probably beat them. Okay. I'm going to put Miles Garrett at four. At four? Because I feel like if I could, I feel like if I could kick him in the knees, Mm -hmm. that would actually work, but I have to get to the knees. Pause. That's not even pause. How's that pause? Oh no, it just sounds crazy. I just get to his knees. <laughs> that's not even crazy. What? Nah, that's crazy. Nah, they they spamming the pause. 
But yeah, I think if I, pause. if I kick his knees in, he's cooling. Or if I like, yeah. But I think there's going to be somebody worse, but I'll put him at four. All right. Nate Robinson. Don't he, got, don't he have like kidney failure? Nate Prom Nate Robinson. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll put. He athletic, though. Yeah, Ain't a little know. Aki. Yeah. Nah, I still think like a two, uh, three. Just in case you put women on here. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking that. You can't change it, though. Oh, you're, yo, you're, you're a fucked up individual, bro. I thought, I, go ahead. I, I, this uh, is, go ahead. Oh, fuck. Who I, oh, Ray Lewis. Oh, that's five. I'm not being that guy. That guy's sick. Nah, you scared of him? I'm, have you seen that guy? Yeah, I've seen him. You, yo, literally, Tom Brady would never, if they play in the Ravens, he would never throw it to the middle. Yeah, I don't blame him. Yo, that, I'm <laughs> not, no, I'm not doing that, bro. Like, even Bill Belichick was saying, like, the Ravens defense, they weren't good at coverage. They would just hit you really hard. That's it. They don't blitz, they, like, they just hit man, hard. you're just a crazy nigga, bro. You could beat that nigga up. No, bro. I'm not. That man. You scared, bro? Yes, bro. Because Miles Garrett is a big dude, a but big he is dude. a normal, sane human being. Ray uh-huh. Lewis, I think he kind of nuts. Oh. Yeah, I think he like if I hit him, he can be like, yeah, like he's gonna be like that, and he's just gonna get even more hyped up, and then I'm cooked. Mm. You think you could beat Ray Lewis? Absolutely over, not. I didn't say I could. They over Miles kill, Garrett, they killed somebody, bro. <laughs> like when Ray Lewis killed somebody at like in like '06 or '07 or some shit like that, bro. I'm not mm. fighting that nigga, bro. Like like in football? Or? No, like he went killed a nigga in a bar or some shit really? like that. Like yeah, bro. Some, I don't know the real story, but oh, I know wow. he murdered somebody. I know that. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay. Dang, I didn't know that. Yeah. Damn, you're cooked, bro. Am I really? Yeah. Dwight Howard. Oh, no. Nah. One. One? Yeah, I put Dwight Howard on one. Bro, you know he mook, right? I know he mook. What that going to mean to me? He ain't going to get like, me like I'm that. I'm not going to say, like, if you lose the fight, like, you might lose something else, too. Nah, he ain't going to get me. You know he's six, six eleven, pure muscle still, right? Probably yeah. like 5% body fat. We're talking about Dwight Howard now? Any Dwight, bro, like... I feel like a kick to the nuts is gonna he might empower like anybody. That shit, bro. He he might. You can put you gotta play first of all. That's the what logic. Was, you gotta apply that logic to anybody, bro. I could, but like if it, if it's like if I'm fighting him number one, I gotta be dirty. Pause with Dwight Howard. Pause. <laughs> you wanna get dirty with no, Dwight Howard? No, I don't Howard? wanna get dirty. I don't wanna get dirty <laughs> with Dwight Howard. <laughs> Breaking but I get, news: No regular host wants to get dirty with Harry <laughs> Howard, bro. I'm just saying. Nah, he might. Was that what was that one video? There was like a there was like a video where someone got kicked in the nuts, and he was like, "Yeah," and he liked it more. I think it was like with uh, "Everybody Hates Chris" or something with Terry Crews. I forgot what it was. I don't. You mean talking about? It was in a it was in a TV show. He got kicked in the nuts, and he like liked it, and he got even more excited. It definitely wasn't "Everybody Hates Chris." What was that wasn't that? his. That, that wasn't his type of character. You you thinking about next Friday when Cat Williams had his uh, maybe or had had his his nuts on the wrench. Maybe. Maybe he, he didn't like it though. That shit hurt. <laughs> no, that was I got I gotta look it up. But now nah, I put Dwight at one though. Uh, What's two? Muggsy Bald. Dang, I folded. I knew he was gonna get cooked. <laughs> I folded. Wow. I really got cooked. Yeah, bro. That's bad. Muggsy Bogues. Oh, so Muggsy Bogues at two. That could work out. Nah, you're getting packed up by Dwight. At least you would have had one win. <laughs> you would have <laughs> fucked up. Mo- you would have fucked up Muggsy and then be like, "All right, fuck." How tall is Muggsy? Like five three. Five three. Okay. Well, I ain't gonna lie. I thought he was gonna put freaking Bruce Jenner on here. <laughs> fuck is I was getting ready. To, I was getting ready to put get put hands on Bruce Jenner, bro. <laughs> you just want to fight Bruce Jenner? Just say that, bro. <laughs> I'll put change the, on Bruce. I'll bro. change the whole list for you. See if you go fuck up Bruce Jenner, nah, bro. bro. I respect Bruce Jenner, bro. And my original list was full of like ex con like ex athletes that are convicts now. Who like Ray I Rice? Gonna, I was gonna put uh Ray Rice, O. J. Simpson, Aaron Hernandez, Henry Ruggs. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey yo, that's O D. Maybe you wanna put that for extra. And one extra nigga. I can't think of somebody else who's a piece of piece of shit athlete. Um Miles Bridges. There you go. R T B nigga. <laughs> Twenty seven days, nigga. Twenty seven nights. nights. <laughs> no, that's so bad. <laughs> Cause that joke was fire. All right. That shit's heat. <laughs> All right. So the only time she get the cheese if she get the topping, nigga. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So, um, oh, so I got another question for you, Corey. What are the chances 
you can survive these natural disasters. So we're going by percentages. Mm-hmm. So a hundred percent that you like you are green, like you are not gonna die at all. Like it's me or you like, personally, yeah. Okay. You personally. Like what you believe in. Mm-hmm. All right. So the first one is an avalanche. Ten percent. Ten percent survival rate? Yeah. <sighs> Especially if I'm on like Mount Everest or some shit. Okay, no, not Mount you can't ski down. You're not gonna be. And get, well, let's say you're on like a like in the Poconos. Like you ever been to? Uh, I guess you, uh, how bad is the avalanche? Like it's coming down and, and like it pushes you over, like knocks you off the thing. It's not like nothing where like you're gonna get buried, but you're gonna get hit pretty. Oh, hard. I'm not getting buried. I mean, you might if you get like really stuck uh, into let, it. Depends. Let, let me up it. Thirty five. That's a good one. I was gonna say thirties. Because I feel like right. Do you know? Uh, have you ever been snowboarding before? Nope. No plan on it. Why not? I can't swim. What does that have to do with like snowboarding? <laughs> Open your horizons, brother. What if the what if the snow melts and now I'm drowning? Yo, get out of the get out of the city mentality. We're gonna take you to we're gonna teach you how to swim. We're gonna take go snowboard. The American dream. Yes. <laughs> that looks fun. But actually somebody it. actually died there. Yeah, I'm not going. You cooked, you cooked it. Yeah, you ruined it, bro. I was, I was thinking about <laughs> this guy's I, feet. I was like, bro, yeah, you're good, bro. I'm not going, bro. He was it's a girl. He was like a freaking 50 year old man. All right, I'm going to be 50 one day. Okay. I want to make it there, bro. Bro, you're good, bro. You're good. We're going to get there, bro. Don't worry. We're going to yeah. do it. We're going to do it one day. Cook, you, it's over, bro. But now, sure Avalanche, I'm going to put a cool 30, cool 30, cool 30. Um, A typhoon. Like so a t- tsunami? Uh, Is a typhoon the same thing as tsunami? I, I don't know. No, nah, I. So. I uh, I'll say let me change the tsunami. You know I'm saying I don't know what the difference between a typhoon. And tsunami I thought it's is. I thought a typhoon was like the next one above a hurricane. Uh, no, I think that might be a typhoon. So you want? All right, let's do typhoon then. Let's look it up. Let's let's make sure like let's make sure we we not like dumbasses. For yeah, this. before we do that, we got one more commercial for y'all people while we look this up. Be right back. But a but but typhoon. But a but 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 prize picks. Is probably one of the most fun and exciting sports fantasy apps on the market right now. I was able to win 10 times the amount of money that I put in. Prize picks is very simple to use. All I got to do was find my players, make my picks, submit my entries, less than 60 seconds, and I'm good to go. Whether you're a tryhard or you're just a person that loves watching sports, you can turn $1,000 into $10,000 with a click of a button. And as of July 31st, Prize Picks is now offering a new promotion for new users on the app. If you use our code NOREGULARS at sign up and you place $5 in for any picks or entries that you want, you will get $50 deposited into your account immediately. Use code NOREGULARS, that's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S, at sign up and place $5 in for your first entry and you will get $50 back instantly, people. That's N-O-R-G-U-L-A-R-S at sign up. Code no regulars. Shout out to Prize Picks. Let's get back to the podcast, baby. Gangsta. We're back, people. And we just looked at what a typhoon was. It's literally the same thing as a hurricane. So we're going to change it to tsunami. So what is the your survival rate of a tsunami? I can't swim. Ten. Yeah, so, huh? 10. Why don't you just say zero? You can't swim. You're right, zero. I just want to be like a man. Nah, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to put 10. Because you know why? I feel like if you get, get to somewhere high, that's why I was thinking. Yeah, high too. ground, you good. If I get somewhere high, but let's say like I'm already like on the floor while it's happening. Yeah. Cook. You're not even gonna try. Are you gonna try? Like, like what was that bad, that really, really bad tsunami? Japan? Was it Japan? Where it went like shh, like over the thing? Like you seen the picture of it? I just remember nah, I just remember I don't know if it was Japan. It might have been, I don't know. Yeah. But it was literally a video where like a couple was running and then stopped. And there's like accepted their fate and like and you like you've seen them on the camera and then you just and like what it was gone really yeah I remember like the whole documentary on it where, where was that fucking bad tsunami at nah look look it up after but that doesn't sound crazy it probably wasn't Japan though because you know tsunamis usually only happen in like the the Pacific island countries you know that right that's where yeah. all the big waves are. Oh, I don't know. Cause like um, like I thought it, it was in America. It definitely wasn't. Nah, we don't get we don't get tsunamis like that. Only all the tsunamis happen in like like uh where in O four Indonesia. Yeah, like Pacific Ocean. You the, you found the video? No, nah, I didn't find that video. Oh, but. Okay, but yeah, that that one was O D. But all the all the typhoons usually happen in like the Pacific Ocean, tsunamis. like in that area. Oh yeah, tsunamis they happen in the Pacific Ocean in that area. Because yeah, I'm cooked zero. Yeah, I'm gonna say five just to be on the safer side. I'm gonna be in that uh that old couple. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna hold my hands with them niggas. Just like this, like 
Dang, you think it's a you think it's a quick death or you think that's like a? It might be a quick death. You drown. Ooh. Nah, I don't think that's quick. I think uh, unless because honestly, I don't think you die of drown. I think you die on impact. Like that's like oh, a. Ma- yeah, definitely quick. I hope so. Like imagine it's not quick and you're just like you broke your neck and you're just like. Or imagine like you survive it and you just come up and then you start swimming. You'd be mad as shit. You'd be mad. I'd be nice. I'm flexing that for the rest of my life. I just survived a wave to my to my mitt. To your mitt, and you just came up out of it. Yeah. What? I'm I'm flexing that. Od. Nah, that's a flex. Come on, bro. I literally got hit full on force with a wave and I survived that. That's a flex. But then you gotta think of it. Now you gotta swim. I mean, if I can swim, I'm cooling. No, you're not cooling because like there's nothing to sight. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it depends though. That's gonna be scary because you know, like rogue waves, rogue waves just be happening. I don't know what that is. You know, it's a so think about like a it's like a giant wave that's not caused by nothing, mm-hmm. like in the middle of the ocean. So like you know how waves cause if something goes on the water and then like yeah. goes like this. So a rogue wave just happens because because it, it wanted to. Yeah, like the scientists still don't know why like why it happens, mm. and like they could be huge, like they like big like big ass waves, and they'd be they'd be rogue waves in like um, in like lakes. Like in like Lake Superior by Michigan, they be having rogue waves all the time. I think it's like the rogue wave capital of like the world. <laughs> That's a rogue wave for you. This guy's <laughs> disgusting, bro. <laughs> all right, bro. The next one is a tornado. Oh, no, I think I'm cooked. I just seen Twister. I'm cooked. Really? Yeah. If you were in that car. Oh, you're, you're in a car, you're cooked. You think so? If I'm pushing that? Sucking you up, bro. Whoa. <laughs> That was crazy. <laughs> no, no, that's not what a twist is. Twist go. Shh. Oh. <laughs> okay, but nah. it's gonna it's, it's, it's gonna suck you in the, in the vortex and then throw you out. You're cooked, bro. Only if you're if if, if the best way of surviving it is going underground. If you're above ground while that shit is twisting, you're cooked. So why do you think people do chase it? I don't know. Niggas be crazy. White people. Like that's crazy. That might be kind of cool though. It might be cool if you're nice, but like if you're not nice. Like, do you think people have those type of cars? What they had in Twisted, where it like hunkers down into the thing. Like you no. seen, you don't think so? You think that was just part of the movie? Yeah, bro. That's that's. Plot. But what about the what that's about plot the armor, bro? What about the what are those? They, maybe those, in those towns where it's common. Maybe. Yeah, like in Kansas. Like what was that? What was that? Um, Kansas. TV show. You said that because of fucking what? Oh, of with, what? no, because that Kansas is flat. And they do have, they really do have tornadoes over there. Where's that shit called? The is the Valley of Death, where it's just like hella tornadoes. You know what I'm talking about? I thought the Valley of Death was just the desert. Nah, it's just I don't know. Oh no, that's Death Valley. Isn't it the the, a Valley of something? It's like in the middle of like three states or some shit, and there's just hella tornadoes in there because like the climate change is like. Let me let let me look it up for you right now, my big my brother. The tornado, the tornado valley or something. I don't know. Valley of Death, New Mexico. No, that's a that's Valley of Death. Tornado. I don't know if it's called a Valley of Death. Tornadoes. Let's see. No, yeah, I don't know if it's a. I I think you're saying something wrong. Tornado Alley. Tor- maybe Tornado Alley. No, uh, no, I don't know. That's those Death Valley. They just keep saying California. Yeah, Tornado Alley. Yeah, it's in the middle of. Where? It's like right. No, no. Can't okay. find it? I don't know. I'll find it one day. Yeah, bro, it's okay. This is Tornado Alley, though. Look, it's like this. This is Tornado Alley. There's just a bunch of tornadoes in this circle. Okay. I don't know, bro. But what I'm talking about is like in the middle. It's like a... I'm going to say tornado hotspot. I don't know. <laughs> I don't, that's what I'm saying. I think all the tornadoes be happening like around Kansas, Missouri, all them flatland places. You know they be having they be having tornadoes in South Jersey now. Did it really? Yeah, like like not like frequently, but I think they be having like tornado warnings. I'm like, that'd be od. Like I don't think I think that's the one thing I probably will never. It see. is tornado alley. It's because my bad. The area is high, no high known for number of tornadoes, which are caused by the collision of warm, moist air from the Gulf of Gulf of Mexico and cold, dry air from the Rocky Mountains. Yeah. So not where sure. is that? I don't know. You just looked at it on your phone. <laughs> like if you don't just look at it, the hell. It's in parts of Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, See, Kansas. South Dakota, yeah. Minnesota, Iowa, and possibly Illinois. Okay, that's not bad. I'm staying away from there. Get me out of there, people. Um. Oh, and Oklahoma has the most tornadoes. Oklahoma, dang. 
I was close. Kansas is right by, by Oklahoma. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, Arkansas. It's Arkansas. Dixie, Dixie Alley. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the last one is Forest Fires, Corey. The last one is Forest Fires. I feel like forest I fires. run out of a forest fire. I think so, too. I think that would be kind of fire. I, no yeah. pun intended. <laughs> yeah, not, not fire. <laughs> Imagine Cause if, if No like, actually there's, That's like That's nah, like a burning was, building On steroids You ever seen, you ever seen uh, Jungle Book Yeah with, He, he should have made it out alive You say he should have Or he shouldn't should have Should have bro no, I mean it's Freaking Jungle Book But It's Mowgli bro Like he's a little kid He should have died I'm not gonna lie I mean it's, it's You got plot armor Plot armor <laughs> Like come on guys Serious plot armor But I mean I think Hold What's on. your percentage though Power comes out today My bad Yo, you had like you had like bad those moments today in the pod, yeah. bro. You good? <laughs> I just want to play two K. It's okay. I want to play two K too. Um, I'm gonna say like seventy. Seventy? I think I could run up. I think sixty five. I think sixty five for me. I like it. I like sixty five. Sixty five is cool. I think it's just like, especially if I get it, get it, if not get it, if I'm like in the beginning stages mm-hmm. of it and it just sparks up. Because honestly, doesn't it doesn't take like a minute for a forest fire to start. I mean, as fast like as days. fire spread. Yeah. But like imagine like you're camping, you sleep, and then you're in a forest fire. Now you got to try to find your way out. That's that's surviving it. Yeah. That might be type hard. Now it might go down like 35. Yeah, that's you want But die. if I just, yeah, if there's only a couple trees over, I think I could survive that. Now, how will you survive? You're on a yacht, and it's a, a bad sea storm. What's your chances? On a yacht? Ooh, am I driving the boat? Nah, or this captain, a ca- captain, a professional driving the boat. I say fifty fifty. Nah, you dying. You think so? He's a professional. How far out I see? Like I can't see you're the shoreline. Deep. You're deep. Like I'm like deep like, sea let's fishing. Say, like you're going. No, let's say you're traveling. Like you're going from like America to like Europe. On a fishing boat? No, on a yacht. On a yacht. Okay, first. Okay, how about let's say deep sea fishing. Are we, are we, are we, I farted. yo, stop farting on my seat, <laughs> bro. So is it, are we far enough to where I can't see the coastline? Yeah. You're like, deep, bro. Okay. Third, 30%. I feel like if I have a, if it was me driving it, driving the boat, like the, like the guy, like the, the captain freaking got hit and got killed from the waves. Who that? Huh? What are you talking about? What? The whole captain got hit by the waves. What do you mean? I'm saying that the captain like oh, died, like the oh, guy who driving the boat. Oh, like he's talking about a scenario. I'm like, what happened? What not happened? No, no. I mean, like, imagine like the like he gets like the wave hits and like he hits his head and knocks mm-hmm. out. And I have to drive the boat. Now we're going. Now we're talking like zero. No, we're going to die. No, Jones. ten. No, I got ten. I don't. Ten percent. I'm, I'm gonna start saying my prayers. If, if you driving the boat in that, you don't believe in me. Not at all. No, I'm not. I I can't. <laughs> See, I will let Corey drive the boat. Corey not attack, bro. Oh, don't let me drive the boat. I already gave up on life. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, we did. Oh, there is. What's our last Okay, how, how's it look? It's looking like deadliest catch yeah, waves. Yeah, it's bad, bro. It's bad. Them waves was huge. It's bad. And they had big ships, and them that them waves was hitting, going over the big ships. You ship. ever seen uh, The Wolf of Wall Street? I've seen bits and parts of it. So you don't remember the boat scene? Mm-mm. It's that bad though. I don't, you don't really see, see it, but like it's that bad. I think we could get out of it though. Cook. If I, if I'm not driving, if I'm not driving the boat, forty five. But if I am driving the boat, ten percent. What if we like life of pie type of situation? Oh, like a dinghy, like a little rowboat. Yeah. I'm now now we're dead. Or what? About, what if you just like what if like you had to be like you, you switch places with life of pie? If I was the and I had the tiger there, mm-hmm. I think he's gonna eat me. I'm not gonna lie. You don't you don't let him eat you? No. I'm gonna fight to the end, bro. You're gonna, you're gonna actually, he's gonna be my he's gonna be my guy, low key. What? You think he's gonna, he, he he gonna think the same thing? Until he gets hungry, I'm gonna feed him food though. Like you gonna be cool. We gonna be cooling. You know what's you know what's crazy that you speak of tigers. When I was in Mexico last week, a tiger. Yes. Walking around. No, no, it was oh. in a shop. I swear to God, Corey. Why was he in the shop? Like it was like take a picture with a tiger. And he had a Damn. live tiger. What a what a what, poor tiger, bro. He had a tiger and he had a baby lion. Hope that tiger eats him, bro. Like, but it was in the shops. Like, you know, you've been to Mexico. Like, you know how they have the shops that like lines up. Mm-hmm. It was in there. I'm like, how did he get a permit to get a tiger? Like, where the heck did he get the tiger from? Hope that tiger eats him. It was a white tiger too. Oh, what a beautiful creature! But it wasn't. It wasn't a big one though. It was like probably like maybe like a teenage, not a teenager, maybe like a little a couple months old. Hope it eats him. 
I don't think so, bro. But me and Jay was about to go take a picture with him. It was like sixty dollars though. We should have. Nah, don't. Don't, don't 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 condone yeah, that. Don't condone that shit. It was so adorable. Yeah, but he had the pet. He was hold, okay. He was holding the pe- the baby lion, bro. Yeah, but it until, was a white lion. Until he until he puts her in a cage and don't fucking love him no more. <laughs> Go ahead and feeling sympathy for cuz. Hey man, what's that water? It's delicious. That type of shit. Yo, all right, Corp. I got one last topic to talk about before we end the podcast. Okay. You ready? So you remember how we was talking about uh. News We were talking about Like the current event news mm-hmm. So now I got some news That I heard That was not a part of the news So it's like the The undercurrents That the people are not talking about So Alright So we were talking about War the other day uh, Not the other day But like recently right So you know they have Drones in wars now I mean I, I would assume so Like But like That's what I'm saying but like I'm thinking like When they They always They always You're had Talking dr- about pigeons I told you No no no, no Not the pigeons uh, yet But like they had the drones Right I'm thinking like they always had drones like the little spy planes, but now they have drones that's actually like shooting people, not shooting people, but like oh, like it's like Merkin, the drones are Merkin, like in Call of Duty, bro. That's kind of tough, bro. No, nah, it's actually, it's, I'll be so scared. Like there was a video of a guy, I think it's from Ukraine, and he was hiding in like a a bush because there was a drone looking for him, mm. and it was like you know in Call of Duty they had them drones that fly out and then like they go and like explode the cluster, the cluster drones. It was one of those, and like you could hear it in the back and go like, and it was trying to look for him. And then there's a drone that it like shoots out thermites, mm. and it like burns down like either like enemy troops or like trees. But they say it's for like the debris and stuff. But like it's literally like a drone like this, and it's like spewing out fire. Like it looks like something from a video game, bro. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. imagine we in war and we see that. I'm not, done. I'm never going to war. Bro. I'm not fighting that boy if you get drafted. I'm going to jail. Oh, you going? My brother, we in there. At least I got somebody I know. Not going, bro. I ain't going, bro. You crazy? You gonna <laughs> let me out? What six? How, how much time? Muhammad Ali did. Was like, it six months? But you also you also months, go years. It was <laughs> it was years. Jail. We're going to jail for years. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, we're also going to be in debt. You know that, right? They're going to give us a fine, two hundred fifty k. Fuck it. Effort. Hey man, my life is worth more than that yeah. money, man. But yeah, if I go to war, I'm gonna die. Like, me personally, I'm going to die. Yeah, that's true. But that's what I'm saying. Think about it. If we get drafted into war, and what if we don't make the requirements of, like, like the physical tests? Like, we don't pass it. Like, do we still go, or do they just throw us out there I'll in general? i fat fuck. Like, that's right. what I'm saying. I'm, I, can't make a, I can't run a mile in six minutes, people. Like, you're just going to throw me out there? Yeah, I'm not doing it. But, yeah. And, like, they also, like you were saying before, they also got the freaking drone birds, bro. Like, China cre- created a... The fucking pigeons. A pi- no, it was like a, it was like a sparrow. But it looks just like a freaking bird, like when it's flying around. But mm-hmm. it's a it's a surveillance camera. I don't know how many times I'm gonna tell y'all niggas. Hey, I'm gonna believe me one day. You you seen that one guy from Phase that uh, proved that pigeons were like uh, uh, surveillance cameras? Mm-mm. I forgot what his name was. I think it was like Kason or whatever. And he did like a whole like presentation on how uh, pigeons are surveillance cameras. Mm. You should do that. I should do it. Yeah. Cool. You, Fuck it. Let's do it. No regular uh, undiscover. Pigeon no, we're gonna most. do we're gonna do a, a no regular extra where we uh prove conspiracy theories and we're gonna do we're gonna start with you brother. I got you know I got the I got the proof on my phone. I'm gonna give you a whiteboard. Hmm. And I'm gonna give you whatever the thing you need. I need you to like, you know how they do like the detective boards. We're gonna mm-hmm. do something like that. That'd be fire. I'm gonna do it. I might do it one of these days next week. Cause I got we gotta shoot some more extra videos. Pause. But oh, you, said, Yo, what's up? you said what? No regulars get freaky. <laughs> It's crazy, but so another thing I seen on the news, not on the news, but I seen on TikTok, and I don't know if it's real. Somebody said that they found a creature uh, climbing up in the Rocky Mountains. What did it look like? It looked like uh them Bigfoot. little nah nah it wasn't Bigfoot. It was like them little white like long lanky white like a uh, Slenderman looking things. Mm. We're cooked with Slenderman's bro. <laughs> like nah, it was like so basically it was a couple. It was a couple in Colorado. They took they took like a hike and they took like pictures around and stuff. They were showing their families, and then I think one of their dads was like, "Yo, what is that thing on the side of the mountain?" And they they zoomed in and it was like a little it was like a giant white like creature with like long limbs and long legs like climbing up the mountain. Mm. But it can also look like a snow cap. You know what I'm saying? Like if it, it's like it doesn't it's like it's not as clear as it looks, but it could look like something else. But a lot of people was looking at it, it was like, nah, it's like a 
SCP. They was looking at like um the things that be in the back rooms and stuff. Yeah. They be thinking they was thinking things like that. They was thinking like some I don't know about all that. It could be something. I don't know what it is. But then somebody on TikTok was talking about how there was a guy that at that same time went missing in those same mountains. It was a uh, he was a guy. His name was um I think Juan or something like that. I forgot. He he worked. He was a a space ranger hmm. in the space force. What the fuck is a space ranger? Not a space ranger. He hmm. was a uh, one of the guys in the space force. Like, he, like he works. You know what the space force is? I mean, yes, it's like for space, but it's like a branch of the military. Oh. But they have station. They have like different bases all over the country. So there was a base in Colorado Springs. So I guess one day he took a hike to see like even get to the top of like one of the Rocky Mountains, like one of the peaks. Mm. And he texted his friend like, yo, I made it to the top. But then he went missing and he never, they never seen him again until, and they did like a whole search for him and the army couldn't find him until like two, three days after they found his body a couple miles, like not a couple miles, but a couple like meters away from where they thought he was not meters. I think like a mile or two away from where he was. And they don't know how he got there. They thought he like fell off or something, but, or at first they said he fell, but then they took back that statement and they said they're going to do further investigations and they never came up with nothing else. Like they never posted nothing about it. So they just left it there. So maybe mm-hmm. cuz got caught up by whatever that thing was climbing up. I don't know. But if, if there's something in the woods, bro, I would be, I think, you know, you think if there was something big in the woods that they knew about, do you think they'll tell us? No. You think they'll ever tell us or they'll just let us keep going? They're not going to tell us nothing, bro. You think they just, like, cut off them parts of the woods? Like, say you can't go this way, like, no they're trespassing? Catch shit. Or are they going to catch it themselves? Mm-hmm. What do you think it could be? You think it could be, like, a, you think they'd be doing, like, experiments that go wrong? Yeah, I think they do that. You think so? Yeah. Like, human experiments? Or maybe not Maybe not the government, or maybe it'd be, like, a, a small funded business and they try to, like... Like, I think them giant bees that, that came, I think those experiments going on. What giant bees? The, 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 murder, the murder hornets. The ones that came from, like, China? Yeah. You think that was, like, an experiment? Yeah, I think they were, they, they were trying something out. I was like, oh, shit, too many got loose. Really? Yeah. I look, you think that could have been something for, with uh, China, bro. They're using uh, bioweapons. They're making uh, bi- uh, weaponized bees. Mm. They're big as fuck, though. Have you seen one? Mm-hmm. They them just, held like, one. this big? Hell in my hand. When? Lying. I was about to say, like, where the heck did you get that from? <laughs> Lying like nah, shit. Nah, that's crazy. <laughs> but, like, imagine, though, they start making... That's what I'm saying. Warfare has changed drastically over the years. Because, like, I'd be watching mad war movies, like, um, Saint Pride Ryan, all them. Mm-hmm. It it went from, like... D-Day? Yeah, D-Day. So, mm-hmm. like, back in, like, you know, World War II, like, the main thing was, like, you know, you had to, like... You had to fight off to gain more land like the more land you got the more you're gonna win you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. so like but nowadays it's like i feel like they're not even doing that it's like we just go there and we just set up posts and like we just have to like fight off against them if they come at us you know what i mean yeah that's not like it's not like how i i, pr- I pray we don't get to that point where it's like world war Two, where it's like we gotta keep sending people like into like a freaking beach yeah. or like into the desert or into the jungle it's like push back the enemy because I'd be freaking nuts. I don't want like that's why. Like in Vietnam, have you seen them traps they had in Vietnam? Mm-hmm. That's crazy, bro. Like we had no business fighting them people, what movie, bro. What movie was that? That damn, it's a good movie. Forrest too. Gump? No, no fucking Forrest Gump. It's a movie. At the, put, Bubba. Patrol. 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 Oh, oh. Pa, no. Patrol. Patrol. Pat- patrol. Something patrol. What's it about? What is it about? I think they're in Vietnam. What? And like, and what you call it? Uh, Wait, is it a funny movie? No. Uh, I was thinking. Well, I was thinking. I was thinking about Tropic Thunder. <laughs> <laughs> nah, like Charlie Sheen's in it. Uh, William Dafoe's in it. Mad niggas is in it actually. That's, really? Uh, that's the only two names I remember. But like, hella niggas is in it. Mm. And is it like one good general and one like bad general? Damn, I don't remember it. But well, it's a good movie. Hey, though. put it in the comments if you remember it. But yeah, man. I don't know. I feel like they, like I said, I want to do. We're gonna. I want to do a lot more shorts for the podcast instead of you know, people. We're gonna be doing a lot more things for the podcast. But of course, we're gonna still be having podcasts every Sunday. But we're also gonna be dropping more short form video, not short form videos, shorter YouTube videos, and we're gonna be doing a lot more IRL content. Like I said, if you're watching this right now, the haunted uh, prison video is probably out. So go tune into that. Well, Darius got arrested. We all ghosts. <laughs> we all. Corey did too. 
And then we all got arrested. And then we also got a back to school video coming out next Saturday. So tune into that. I got cooked on the math test. It's all good though. You know, I did that on purpose. Yeah, yeah. He did that for the content. Yeah, for the content. But before we end the podcast, Corey, you got anything else you want to talk about? Anything you know else you want to say? I was watching Drumline the other day. Mm-hmm. And take a wild guess what came on right after. Like literally like like right after. Like the next show? Yeah, next movie. Oh, next movie? Uh Love Don't Cause a Thing? Stomp the Yard. Really? And I watch both and Drumline's better, bro. What? Stomp the line is better. Stomp the yard is mid, bro. Stomp the yard is it's mid. It's not mid, but drumline's better. No, bro. it's not. It's drumline is not better than Stomp the Yard. It's, it's drumline's better, bro. I don't think so. Wait, why do you think so? It went downhill after Chris Brown died, man. Because you just no, 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 no. It did not. It literally didn't go downhill after. I'm Chris not Brown. gonna lie to, bro. The nigga, the nigga from Drumline. I mean, Stomp the Yard. The main, he was weird, bro. The nigga came on the campus, took like the nigga was vibing, bro. Took homies, bitch. What uh, you mean he was, bro? She didn't nah, want him, bro. Nah, he was. She did not want cause. He was doing too much, bro. What do you mean he was doing too much? He wasn't doing, bro. She, he wasn't giving his girl no attention. Nah, bro. Yeah, cause he was the leader of the Alpha Phi News, bro. I don't know that's the nudes. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it wasn't like he was pressed. That was good. That was a good idea. Don't take my idea. Next time, I don't want to see you do that. Bro, why would I need to do that? I, I use it normally. I use mine normally too. No, you put it on your your nipples. It wasn't on my nipple. No, it's, it's on, on your pec. nipple. It's on your nipple. My nipples right here. Why are your nipples so close to your armpit? My nip- your nipple's supposed to be right here. You point it right here. Yeah, it's my nipple right here. Right here? Okay. But no, I'm saying it's not his fault though. He was just he was just mowing grass. And he just seen Nah, bro. Niggas he weird. seen the baddie. Niggas weird. He didn't know. How's that? <laughs> but he but the other dude's not weird? Nah, what's he weird for? He bagged a single shorty. Nah, he he thought he was nice. He was nice. He was nice, but he thought he was all of that. He was all that. <laughs> but my dude came from the bottom. He had to grind, and he became the best. So did bro. Bro got kicked off the team. So you tell me that. So you tell me that ending scene of Stomp the Yard is not. You think the ending scene of freaking Drumline is better than the ending scene of Stomp the Yard? Yeah, because he was like. So that drum battle, that one drum battle, is. That one drum battle in Stomp the Yard is better than the ending scene in Stomp. No, the yeah. one drum bat, the one drum battle in Drumline is better than the. Yeah, the, you're crazy. Stomp the yard, yeah. You're crazy. I'm not gonna lie, you got served is better than Stomp the Yard. Are you crazy? You got served supposed to be a sequel, I think. Like it was pitched as a sequel, but then they didn't. Are you that. nuts? No, I'm not. No, wait, no. You don't. Stomp the Yard was supposed to be a sequel to You Got Served, I think. One of the two. When did Stomp but, the Yard come out? Like 2008. Hmm. But you got served is way better than Stomp the Yard. Who was it? You got served again? I forgot. I haven't watched that in a minute. Uh, um, Omarion? Is that Omarion? Oh, that is Omarion. I haven't watched that in mad long. And the, and the, and the, and the girl from My Wife and Kids? Oh. Oh, I do remember. That wasn't. Eh. Okay, as a dancing movie, it's better than it. But as a yeah. movie in general, I don't think so. What you mean? I got to watch it again. I got to watch it again. Let me watch it again. It had a great plot. It was. Niggas was dancing and. and, and Slinging rock. <laughs> that's cool. That's tough. That's... Nigga fucked his sister and said, yo, I don't fuck with you no more. That's, that's great tough. plot. That's tough. Nobody that's tough. bitch got taken. Feel me? But like... Cut, Nobody he... got overstepped. Like, feel me? Like, they, had <laughs> Over... to, they did it for a little nah, saint. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. I still think freaking Stomp the Arts better than uh, Drumline, Lil bro. Little Saint made it more... Made it made it longer than Chris Brown did. Bro, Chris Brown, he he just didn't want to be in that movie no more, so they had nah, to kill they him off. Pay that nigga. That's why. That is why. But <laughs> like, like, yo, we because if Chris Brown was movie. in that movie, he would have taken over the the role, bro. Yeah, no. I want to see Chris Brown not. Okay, now if Chris Brown was in big there, big nose boy. I ain't gonna lie, if Chris Brown was in there, that'd be fire. He'd been the one, bro. Feel me? But if he was, if he was the main character in another universe, he's the main character. Yeah, that'd and be and, fire. In another universe, I'm saying that Stomp the Yard is better. But, but not in this universe. Not this universe. Though, All right, bro. Dang, that's crazy. What were you watching that on BET? Nah, it was on like Showtime or some shit. You be watching cable still? My dad do. Oh, okay, so, so you just watch it like when it's on there. Yeah. Or okay. If I'm downstairs, I'll I'll channel surf. Okay, okay. And then I also watched Juice and what was the Boys in the Hood. I watched both recently too. Like I said, Juice is better, bro. Juice is so much better. <laughs> uh, and I forgot the other ones we said. Those ones are like basketball. Oh, ones. Coach Carter is one. Come on, Coach Carter is better than to remember the Titans, bro. I just I, think I, right? I only watched Coach Carter. I didn't watch Remember the Titans again though. But Coach Carter was hard, bro. Nah, I like Remember the Titans. Yo, Cuz literally, 
he was a star defensive end, and he got hit, he got into a car accident, I lost his legs, bro. That long. I gotta watch it again. Bro. I was so sad, bro. He yeah. was like, "You my brother, bro. No matter the color, you still my you brother." Know, bro. I like the shit with the Rock better than I like. Uh, Miranda Are you crazy? You know what I'm you, talking about? You talking about the one with uh, Payne Hillis? I don't know. That that little is. girl? No, not the game plan. Oh, <laughs> oh, on, Gridiron bro. Gang? Yeah, Gridiron Gang. I like that better you, than Remember the Titans. Bro. Are you crazy? Gridiron Gang was fire, bro. Gridiron Gang was cool, but it wasn't better than Remember the Titans. Them little hood them little know. hood rats playing football. Damn, bro. Kawhi, because they was in jail. They was in a hood yes. Rats? Man, they was, trying what? To, they was trying to make it better for their life. He bro. said, what did he say? He said, I see you on the 88, something like that. I forgot what he said. What did, what did Cuz say on the... When, when he had was, ghosts in that shit, bro. Yeah, when he was mopping the floor, he was uh-huh. like, well, good. Cut. See you on 88. I think see you on 88, bro. Nah, I think that was hard. That was hard. That was hard. They seen him on the 88 and shot him through the... the, the they shot him in the game. <laughs> <laughs> shot him through the shoulder pads. But nah, don't don't disrespect remember times like that, bro. Great hard... Great hard... Red Iron Gang. Red Iron Gang was hard, bro. Literally, remember? Niggas had game plan, bro. No, game plan was fucking ass, bro. Are you great now? That was a good movie. Like yeah, when movie. we was fucking eight, that shit is garbage now. I watched that well, show the other day. I was like, nah, this shit mid, That's bro. the same thing as freaking Shark Boy and Lava Girl. We watched Shark that Boy. That shit is so... I watched that the other day. It's, it's so, so mid, bro. <laughs> that shit but, is so but, mid, But bro. did you think that was a great movie? It was the best movie ever, bro. I'm saying it was great. Dream, 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 dream. dream, dream I swear, dream, I feel like back then, I was like, dang, I was I'm so like, excited to watch that. this shit is Fire, Remember bro. they used to have the freaking um the the 3D glasses uh-huh. and there was like either the lava girl ones or the shark boy mm-hmm. ones. Oh my gosh! Spy bro. Kiss still was still fire though. Spy yeah. Kiss is better than that. Spy Kiss is still fire. Bro. Yeah, Spy. Oh no, no, Spy Kiss is still cool. Spy Kiss is still cool. But like I you feel know, like, you know what's, what movie Loki is still good too. What Sky High, bro? No, Sky High is fire. Sky High is heat. Bro. I'm not gonna lie, I love Sky High, bro. What's Sky that dude's High. name? Freaking something. Um, Thor- no, not Thunderbolt. Something Thornton. That was a great movie, bro. Sky High. Um, what's another? What's another, another underrated movie that people don't really re- watch that we watch when we're younger? Um, Look at the Irish was fire, bro. Have you watched that movie? Um, about freaking. It was like about the Loch Ness monster, but he was like a. You seen him before? It was like it was like the little freaking kid, and he put he had the thing in the bathtub. He had the animal in the bathtub. I forgot what that movie's called. The Loch Ness Monster. It was like it. It was basically the Loch Ness Monster, but he like he found him and he like kind of saved him. I forgot what that movie was called, bro. Oh, Crap! It was like about. it was like a Free Willy type of thing, but not like that. I forgot what it was called. I don't know what you're talking about. You ever watch Roadhouse? Roadhouse, Roadhouse. The first one or the new one? No, I mean I don't think. What do you mean the new one? Like how recent? Like the one. Who's in the Who's in the new Conor one? Conor McGregor. No, 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 no. They made one. No, not that one. The old one. No, I only seen the new one. Okay, wait. Is that the one where Conor McGregor walks in, like he's like acting in it for real? Yeah, he, with Jake Gyllenhaal. Oh, really? That's 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 Roadhouse. Is that Roadhouse? I think no, that's definitely Road- not Roadhouse. That, that is Roadhouse. The new one that just came out on Amazon. It can't be Roadhouse. I think that's something else, bro. Roadhouse. Yeah, Roadhouse. That's that just Roadhouse. Came out. Yeah. It's a spinoff of the first one that came out in like. With um, what's that dude's name that was in the other Roadhouse? Ricky Sinicky is Ash. That's funny. Who's in the look? Look up who the main character in the first Roadhouse was. I forgot what his name was. Oh my gosh, I can't think right now. Why he say non athletes is crazy? The first Roadhouse was the eighty nine. Yeah, what was his name? He's a famous guy. That Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Patrick Swayze. Yeah, that's what. Nah, it was. Patrick Swayze's that guy. Yeah, O D, bro. Patrick Swayze's that guy. Roadhouse is he. No, oh, I think he he, I think he died. I think he died. Damn, he died, bro. He when he died? Oh nine. Dang, he died early. How old was he? Died at fifty seven. How did he die? Oh, cancer. Oh man, R. P. Patrick Swayze, bro. Nah, nah. I'm going. Hold on, hold on. I'm not letting this die out because Corey's tweaking. I'm not letting you say Gridiron Gang is better than Remember Gridiron the Titan. Gang is fire, bro. bro. Cuz went into the 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 hospital and she was like, "We don't allow blacks in here." She was like, and the dude was like, "Nah, you don't see the resemblance. That's my brother. That's my brother, bro." Unite the people. I gotta watch it again, bro. Come on, bro. They were literally high school kids. They didn't like each it. other. I didn't watch it in Maryland. I gotta watch it again. Come bro. on, bro. We literally watched. I used to watch that joke all the time in school. I probably didn't watch, I probably didn't watch that shit in like 10, 15 years. I'm saying, bro. You gotta take a look at that, bro. You know, oh, no, no. You know, it was a good movie. I don't Disney know. Plus too. I don't know if you ever watched it. The uh, you remember that movie, Dinosaurs? 
<laughs> yeah. Did you, did you like that movie? I mean, I, don't, I remember it, but I don't remember it. I want to watch that again. I think they got that on Disney Plus. I might watch that. Dinosaurs. That joke was fire. I like the good dino. That was the good dinosaur. That's yeah. what the green, the green yeah. dino. Oh, yeah, I was looking kind of sad. I'm not gonna, I watched that. I used to watch that show all the time, but I think during COVID, I don't know why that shit was always on. I'm about to bro. say like you grown, you a grown that man. Shit, during <laughs> can... COVID, that shit was always on, bro. I'm like, oh, why okay. this shit on? Let me watch it. <laughs> that was kind of sad, low key. It was sad. I was dang, bro. But that dinosaur movie, when they freaking, when the, the big one was walking and she's like, he was like, I need water. I'm thirsty with the little monkey. Mm-hmm. And then she's like, he, she pressed down on the thing. The water came out. That's the only thing I remember. That's the, that's the one thing I remember about that. That's not, yep, yep, yep. No, right? No, that's not that. Yep, yep. With Ducky, yep, yep, yep. Oh, no. That's um, Lame Before Time, Ducky. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what happened to that, uh, to the actor, right? Who? The, the, the person that, the girl that played, that played Ducky? Ducky. What happened? Uh... Her pops, her her so her pops was like abusive to the mom and to her, and when the the mom tried to leave, she was like, "Yo, like you trying to leave me? I'm gonna I'm gonna kill you and and our daughter because she making more money than us." Wait, who said that? The like the pops. Oh, really? So feel me, like so she like got like a, an apartment on the low. Who the mom? The mom on the uh-huh. low, like away from the pops, and like she was like praying to secretly divorce him and like move out, and he found out and like shot both of them, shot the shot the mom, shot the girl. Really? And then shot himself. Oh, my gosh. And then what you call it, it I think All Dogs Go to Heaven, that movie. Mm-hmm. This, so her last lines was uh like in that movie. And then the nigga that was delivering the lines, he didn't finish his lines yet. So he was like basically doing his lines to her last words, saying, like, oh, like, why, why are you leaving? And oh, because so, she pre record like she just recorded. she like, I mean she did her lines already, you feel me? So it, oh, it was so she was him. like talking to a dead person, like so he was so he was so you from you could hear him in his voice like actually crying like in the uh in the in the in, thing in his in his in his, in his like uh voice acting role he's like wow. actually crying. That's sad, bro. Because yeah, like yeah, pop, crazy, pops killed, pops killed his daughter because she was making more money than him. Because wow. like he bought the crib, no, like feel me he was the, he was the, he was the provider of the house, mm-hmm. and then. Feel me? Once she start acting and shit and getting more roles, like feel me? She started like her, her money was paying for everything. Uh-huh. So he like nah, like how my daughter, the 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 That's money so maker sad, of the house. Bro. So then the wife, so he was like being abusive. He was drinking a lot. He was being abusive, and the wife tried to leave. He's like, you try to leave me again, and then he told the daughter, daughter too. He said, you like you, you try to leave too. I'm gonna kill you. That's, That's exactly so what he sad, did, bro. bro. So That's he so caught sad. he caught them like he caught he found out they were staying in a different apartment. Nigga came shot both of them. Bang bang. That's so sad, he shot bro. Himself. He a coward, though. I, th- I, hate, I hate shit like that. Like, you're going to do that, nigga, do the time, bro. Exactly. You're going to take the easy way out and kill yourself. Well, I mean, now he's going, you know where he at, bro. Yeah, fuck that. Nigga. I guess I guess he not, he, he's even worse where he at. At least he could have begged for forgiveness in freaking jail, but. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh man. Dude. I didn't know that. That kind of made me sad now. I want to yeah. watch that movie again. I used to love Lame Before Times, bro. I'm not calling. Oh, I don't remember it. Nah, I'm gonna see if you're a real, a real animal lover, bro. Mm-hmm. Did you ever watch Zabumafu? What the fuck did you just say to me? Wow, you don't love animals, bro. Zabumafu. I don't think. You I never watched Zabumafu, bro? I don't know. If it was like, hold on, Zabumafu was fire, bro. It was like a nigga just some African shit to me. Hey yo, <laughs> nigga talking to me. You never watch? You never watch this? Oh, I know that. Yeah. I don't remember it, but I remember it. I, I remember to, watching it. I used to love this that show. Little mongoose. Yeah, and they used to have the freaking animals, bro. Oh my gosh, I might watch this. What's on, what's it on? Uh, it's on. What is this? You, it's, they got some on YouTube. Oh, I used to love. They, they used to have all the animals. I used to love when they used to go like to the animal feeder and you press it and the food come out. Yeah, I know that. I know that show. Dang, I didn't bro. know what it was called. It's a booba food. Z- Dang, this is my show, bro. You like the the theme song, lame man, nigga. Look at the little ugly. Look at the little ugly lemur. I can't. I can't see. The little ugly yeah, lemur. That nigga's ugly. That done hideous, bro. But yeah, bro. Dang, that was good, bro. I, I went down memory lane with that one. With this, when we talk about the movies, bro. Yeah. Dang. Sometimes, sometimes you just I, like you know they need to make a channel that just has like the night like early two thousands like either they, TV they shows or. Yeah. Like movies, like throwback XD or something. I don't know. Not even a channel. They should make like a streaming site for that. You know how much they bread. Should. You know how much bread they'll make. But nah, you know how much they're not that. Man, they won't make that much bread. You don't think so? Because people are gonna watch it for like maybe the first first year, make a lot of money. After that, it's gonna be like, you know. I mean, it depends. You know what's bro. crazy? I seen it on TV that day. I didn't even know like that. They still was like like stream like 
showing it on TV, the Cosby Show. Oh well, I they still have that on TV. I was I seen I seen it on TV the other day. Really? And that <laughs> shit was funny as fuck. I never, I never realized how funny it was. That shit is hilarious. Bro. I told you, I feel like once you get older, I you watched start like two episodes. I was like, hold on, this shit funny as hell. Bro. What was, wait, what was it on BT? I don't know what it was on. I was just channel surfing. I was like, the Cosby show. I was like, what the fuck? You know what I want to watch? I want to watch the Bernie Mac show. I used to love the Bernie oh, Mac man, show. Oh, man, I miss Bernie Mac. Man. I, I think it's hilarious. I think they killed him, bro. I think they killed him, bro. They might have killed that nigga. I think bro. they killed because I think they didn't. There was envious of my guy. But he was too funny. I know, right? But before we end the podcast, people, we're going to shout out everybody on our Patreon. So subscribe to our Patreon. If you want more episodes, you want more exclusive things, we are dropping the full unedited uh, version of the haunted episode or the haunted vlog. So if you want to watch that, because there's some things that that happened that we couldn't put on YouTube, hmm. so we're not gonna put that on YouTube. When Derek, like when Derek stuck his finger up my, anyway. I actually put that in there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Type shit. Type. Yeah. So subscribe to our Patreon. Link in the book. Bu- See, this is crazy, bro. <laughs> subscribe. Oh. Link in the link in the bio below. But first, we're going to shout out everybody on Patreon. Shout out to all our free subscribers. we got Jalen Strong, uh, Levi O'Neal, Jordan Smith, Javarian Jackson. Wait, actually, Corey, well, why don't you why don't you shout him out today? Oh, nice. Let me get this. Yeah, show. hold on. Let me. You just want to see if I can read. Yeah, I want to see if you're nice. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I got I to gotta read. Bro, don't touch the thing. You're going to mess up the thing. I don't know what you're what you adding, bro. What you mean when I'm adding? I'm just putting the uh, thing on it. Hold on, people. Sorry about that. Let me set up for this one. All right, Corey, you ready? Yeah, let me get this. So be like, let's see. Let's see if you're nice with it. Let me see. Shout out to... Yo. (laughs) I caught it, bro. I caught it. Wait, move the mic. All right. Hold on. Listen, guys. All right. (laughs) Hold on. Let me sit back down. All right. So shout out to our... Patreon lineup, our Patreon subscribers. Shout out to our free subscribers, Jalen Strong, <laughs> Levi O'Neal. Yes, sir. Jordan Smith. Yes, sir. Javarian Jackson. My boy. What the f- Exactly. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to say this name, but the next one is crazy. Ha ha. Shout <laughs> you, man. Um, I heart big booty freaks, my nigga. But fuck with you, bro. Same, bro. Um, Farmington Fleming. You sound like. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, Where are no. you from? Sound like a like uh. A star in a buddy cop movie. <laughs> you know, you probably live in Kansas, bro. Gene Paul Sr. How's your junior doing, Gene I know. Paul? Are you Haitian? Summer Mc, McNair. McNair. Keep going, Mc, bro. McNair. Mc, McNair. Mc, Mc, mm-hmm. Robert Shelton. Yes, sir. Oh, you miss somebody? O'Shea? O'Shea, Drew, Jaquavian. Yep. Jesse. <gasps> Are you saying their last names? That's not even good last names. Okay, there's no last names. Jesse Rodriguez, you sound like a porn star. <laughs> Kev, <laughs> Rob, Quash, Cal, No, the 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 shill. Yep, yep, the yep. shill. Shout out the shill. No, the shill. Isabel Graham, you sound very smart. My boy Leek, DJ Willis, Ram- Raymond Padilla, 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 Alyssa Smith. Laquell Ingram, you're definitely a nigger. <laughs> you're from Harlem, bro. Tyrone Bowens, Tyrone Jeremiah Bowens Jr., uh, Corey Richard Petty, King Fry. <laughs> our second round steals. Shout out to our second round steals. Second, 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 second round steals. The five dollar tier people, y'all paying the big bucks. Shout out to y'all, man. Shout out to y'all. DJ Khalid, Muhammad, Muhammad, yep. Tamia. And Trey Simmons. Yes, sir. My boy yeah. Trey from Houston. Is that uh Trey Trey Dragons? No, no, no. Uh, that's and then shout out to our first round lottery picks. That's the ten dollar tier people, uh-huh. the big big spenders. Tavon Cock. No. <laughs> no. Not Tavon. Not Tavon. Tavon Cox. Tavon Cox. Tavon's yeah. Cock. <laughs> Tavon Cock. 
<laughs> and Leon Poole. Shout Le- or Leland Poole. Leland Poole. My guy. Shout out to my niggas, man. Actually, I think Trey Simmons, I think he might be in the 10 dots here. I don't know if I, I might have messed it up, but if you are, you know, I already talked to you, brother. We're going to be at, we might be at uh, DreamCon in Houston next year. So shout out to you, man. Yeah, shout out to all y'all, man. Thank you for subscribing to our Patreon. And thank you, um, I Heart Big Booty Freaks. Uh, I appreciate you the most, actually. <laughs> and DM, DM Darius or DM the podcast for a picture of this big booty freak that I just got a, a picture of today. I'm lying. I'm just sending you somebody off of Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, okay. Thank you again for pulling up Corey for another podcast. Oh, you, you know what I'm saying? Hey, people. Just let you know that last that last monocle, I had to shit so bad, but I was fighting demons in this chair. This <laughs> I was like, to quit being on Smith. <laughs> Yo. So people that think Popeyes. Yeah, pa- Popeyes. Corey has some Popeyes before us. But people, thank y'all again for tuning in to another episode of No Records Podcast, episode number 157. Mm-hmm. If y'all new to the chair, subscribe, comment, put post no- post notifications on. You know, it helps us in the algorithm and it also helps you guys. You get to see us more often. You know what I'm saying? And like I said before, there's gonna be a lot more things coming to the podcast. We got a lot more IRL content coming soon. We got more extra videos coming soon. We're dropping me and Tyrone just filmed an Elite Eight. Uh, video dropping next Wednesday. Tune into that, and yeah, just subscribe to the Patreon. We different than regular no regular man, gangster. I'm gonna really go get it. Yeah, I'm gonna really go get it. Yeah.